Hey, what's up guys? DeekRelaxShacks.com. As always, the 10% discount codes in the description below for your Envy Tiny House heater. Got a tiny house, summer camp south, kind of, not really summer, happening in North Carolina too. Speak of the devil, Chris Strathy, who's in this video and featured, he's going to be one of our guest hosts and carpenters and bringing this mobile workshop out to that very camp. RelaxShacks.com for that. Meanwhile, here we go. Hit the like button, subscribe, hit that little bell thing, and we'll bring you lots more tiny house videos, I promise. Hey guys, my name is Chris Strathy. I'm the Capable Carpenter, and this is my mobile workshop, The Doghouse. So this started off as a 1986 Jayco J-Series 23-foot tag-along trailer and uh, it had its life as a trailer and I was certainly looking for some type of work trailer. I don't haul cars and they're quite expensive so this was my idea to buy this old camper and turn it into my workshop. So come on in and check it out. All right. So almost everything in here is reused. Uh, except for what I started off with. So that was a new floor, new walls, new ceiling. Uh, mostly sale stuff. The, these are fence panel dog ear pickets that were on sale for 50 cents a piece. That metal was real cheap and some of it was actually bent. So I got like 30% off at Lowe's. Um, so yeah, we're able to rip a full sheet of plywood in here. We have a generator on the front. If we don't have power, that will power all this. Uh, a neat little feature if you're a carpenter, even a do-it-yourselfer. Cords always end up being a cluster, so me and my boys had some scraps, made a little reel for our air hoses and uh, electrical cords. Yeah, you just had a plywood discs, right? Yeah, 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 real simple, just glued up, glued, screwed, just really all plywood, nothing uh, uh, over beautiful or uh, certainly we're in building cabinets when we built them, but they're simple and effective. And well, you know it's going to be beat over yeah, time that's anyway. that's kind of what I'm about. I mean, this thing's been taken apart several times. We find more rot. Um, I've had a long history with structural repair so uh, certainly capable of getting this thing keeping it on the road uh, it's really the trailer is really sound uh, we just made a 1200 mile trip to get up to tiny house summer camp six which if you missed it was a mistake and you need to come next year because it's awesome um, so this is this was original it folds down into a table but we kept it because we bring our lunch we'll bring a cooler full of food um, saves us time. We work in North Carolina, really all up and down the East Coast uh, when we can. Um, just saves time and money. Just sit down, have a good meal, but not have to leave for 30 minutes and, and buy a bunch of stuff. Instead of eating Twinkies on the go on the job. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we keep a little trash in here, but it's mostly a cooler full of sandwich meats. And got the coffee maker. Um, that's an essential. A lot of this stuff, what I did was I got the whole shell. I got it where I could use it. And then kind of took my time to piece things in because it's really, I wanted to make sure I got it right. And I couldn't design that without kind of having that space in front of me. Um, so again, this would be a sleeping area if I were to be on the road. Uh, this is the same design as Jayco had. I just rebuilt it because it was rotten and particle board. Um, but this is also a bed that folds down. Um, just storage for now. This is also, a, it was a couch in here, an old nasty couch. And there were water tanks and things like that in there. I had no need for that, so we just yanked it out, got it back structurally correct, and I just used scrap plywood. I love plywood. Uh, it's very sturdy. Uh, it can serve structural and can be pretty. And when you're on the road, you get a place to crash. You've yeah, so, done a couple of tiny house uh, yeah, festivals. We've, yeah, we've been uh, festivals, and this is our first summer camp, which was awesome, but you know, slept right in here. Had everything I need. Um, Do you have a particular message for Andrew Odom? I love you, brother. You're a great dude. I uh, can't thank you enough for helping me, introducing me to the tiny house world. Not only that, but great I hear dude. he's contemplating whether or not to do another tiny house no! festival. Contemplating? Yeah. How could you? Come on, buddy. I'm counting on you. Uh, I certainly am praying that you do another one, Andrew. And uh, if you do, I'll be there and hopefully with something new. So, shout out. There you go, friend. <laughs> so, yeah, this is it. Small, like I said, kitchen. We're not 
living in this. However, when I did build it, I had big dreams of using it as a hunting cabin, putting a four-wheeler in the back with my boys, a John boat, um, but I worked too much. So. This um, repurposed, and what happened was I we finished all this, but the air conditioning unit and the uh, FM or the UHF antenna, all that stuff on the top that wasn't of use anymore kind of looked ugly. So I wanted to yank all that off. We yanked the AC and then there was a square hole here. Um, so I, I'm all about being fun. So this is my little secret compartment. <laughs> Can't fit much up there. It's really just a fun little thing. Like I said, I saw that void um, if I need to. But that's, that's pretty it. cool, yeah, man. That's, that's the doghouse. That's just an old, an old steering wheel, you said? It's a tractor, John Deere oh, tractor yeah, yeah. steering wheel <laughs> that a farmer next to me had. He no longer had the John Deere. Um, so he told me I could take the steering wheel. It was brand new, but like I said, it fit. You know, you get in wet, you're at lunch, we'll fire up our little buddy bottle heater, and then, you know, hang our clothes on here if it's a rainy day. Yeah, or something it's like, like the that. world's smallest yeah. clothesline. Here. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Um, nice. That's really, I'm all about reusing, repurposing, and having fun while I'm working. I mean, what's up next? Short. What's up next for you? Uh, we're doing a lot of uh, structural repair from the hurricane. We just had a major hurricane blow through, uh, but got a treehouse. Uh, design going on and a 40 foot school bus design going on so look forward to showing you guys some of that yeah what i like is you kind of experiment with a lot of things and get pretty freaky yeah. with carpentry uh you've done a couple videos and guest videos for us and you've come up with some very innovative things so. yeah well and some of the things in my tiny house um i tried to do tiny house shock and all i've been dying to get into the alternative housing um kind of scene so some of those things weren't the most practical but that house was built for me um, I really about all about the customer. You know. All right. One last question. I asked some people who are builders the, you know, the tool you couldn't do without. And I'm not talking like the evident like I need a handsaw or a chop saw or things like that. But like, what's the one tool, even a specialty tool, you couldn't operate without? My backpack blower. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. This so I take this thing everywhere. Um, no matter how busy I am on Fridays, I'll cut out early and I will clean everything, service everything. I've been in business for myself for a long time, doing different things, and I try to take care of what I got. Uh, I don't have much. I'm proud of what I have. I worked hard for it. But we keep a clean job site, clean trailer. It's just kind of, that's probably what I couldn't do without. I wash my truck, I blow it off, nice. uh, clean ourselves off, clean this out. Um, that may sound silly, but I could make do with rope and a handsaw in building something, but... A little something I would miss if I didn't have would certainly be that. Gotcha. Again, Chris Strathy, the capable carpenter out of North Carolina. Check him out online. Uh, he's got so many things in the works. I'm sure you'll see more from him on this channel. And thank you, Chris. All right. Later, guys.